Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Cup Chasers podcast. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. The preseason is off and running. The summer series is going. The Arsenal USA Tour cities out in Japan. Uh, and uh, if you're really enjoying all the transfer madness and the preseason stuff, go ahead and smash up the likes on the video. Subscribe to the channel and get that little bell on. We'll go ahead and kick it off with Chelsea's preseason. Nine goals in two games. What are you telling me? It's looking good. I, I mean, it's looked good. Yeah. I mean, I think the first yeah, five, you kind of take, take, take with a grain of salt. Yeah. You know, because it was wrecked on that. But the Brighton game was fun. Oh, the Brighton game was fantastic. And and I, I hate that we kind of took our foot off the gas um, because we absolutely dominated that second half. Yep. Um, it was beautiful. It was absolutely oh, yeah. beautiful to watch. That goal, the Murdrick's goal, Mud Dog's goal, was beautiful. Yo. Didn't see something as good all season. Didn't see anything that good all season. The the interplay with, uh, was that Jackson? Yeah. Or was that Jackson? Jackson? And no, that was Jackson. Yeah. Yep. The player. The Jackson with a little side foot flick. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Jackson's a- hungry, and that's what we've been missing up top. Like, um, no, no, no shot to your boy, but Kai just didn't act. I don't know if it was role. I don't know if it was confidence. I don't know really what was going on, but uh, he didn't play with that drive and that confidence to move the ball forward to really get it into that box and and com- and convert something um, for us. And y'all are playing him in a slightly different role, so. Uh, we'll see how that works out for you guys. But, you know, just to say, like, Jackson's hungry. He makes the run. He, he's looking for the pass. He's unselfish about it. As long as the ball, um, in the figurative sense, is moving forward in the game, as long as we're getting that offensive momentum, we're making those runs and putting pressure back on the defense. Because, like you said, about about right after half, right towards half, we really had a struggle put, uh, breaking out of that press. Uh, because we kept sitting so deep and we kept sitting so deep and um, he came in kind of was making and again those offensive runs from Mudrich and from Jackson connecting together that's what you want to see that's how you break the press that's how you really break down the team and make them stamina wise you make them run a lot more during the game because it takes it takes more to get back if you're pressing so high and pressing so hard which Brighton did and uh, it was just good to see. Um, it was good to see some of the younger guys. But, but, yeah, man, Jackson. Jackson's hungry. You can tell he's got something to prove. He plays like he has something to prove, which we've been missing. That's what – we haven't had a player want to do that for us. Um, that could convert. I don't know what was going on with Fafana last season. I don't know what's going on in the locker room with him. Um, but no one wanted to play him. And even Pochettino's looking at him like he doesn't want to play him. So I don't know what the situation is like- there. Whenever he came on the field, he looked hungry. But we haven't had a hungry, sh- yeah. We just haven't had a hungry striker in a while, and it's nice to yeah. see three guys really vying for that and being hungry in front of goal. Yeah, I was gonna. Um, I actually uh, was scrolling through Twitter or whatever it's called these days. Who knows what Elon's got next for us in that <laughs> realm? But um, I was scrolling through <laughs> what was Twitter, <laughs> and I saw a breakdown of the. Um, <laughs> Uh oh, it was the uh the Inkunku goal, um, which was kind of a luck yeah. goal. But what was interesting about it was it, um it broke it down from where the play started, which was back in the box. Um Keppa played it out to Colwell, Colwell couldn't play it forward, plays it back to, to Keppa. Carney uh Chukamueka comes up, gets the ball, beats his first man, plays it to Gallagher. He's making a run still, which we we haven't had anybody that one comes get the ball and still runs. You know, it, it's always been get the ball, work it slowly down the field. You know, and it, it just trudges. You know, you're not putting your deep the defense on their heels, and so he makes a, a diagonal run into the midfield. Uh, plays it forward over to Chilwell, but he still keeps running into the box. Chilwell finds Carney. He finds uh, Nkunku, and Nkunku just kind of, you know, glances it past the, the keeper. 
But that kind of goes back to breaking down that press. There was nobody that was going to do that last year. And to see someone actually go, and I didn't know it's preseason. I'm not, I'm not trying to create this, oh my God, we're going to be amazing idea. <clears throat> but just to see someone take charge, go get that ball, bring it up, keep running, you know, that that's a breath of fresh air. And I think it already shows some of what Pochettino's influence is going to be going forward. You can definitely tell that at least some of what and he's Pochettino saying. likes, and we've already, yeah, so, sorry, go ahead. No, no worries. You can, I mean, you can already tell that some of what Poch is saying is, is coming in. Um, and it, and it leads me to think, you know, to ask the main question is, is Gallagher the man? Is he still going to be the man like he was all season long? You know, um, I don't know. I mean, supposedly know, we, 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 I, I know Patrick, I know Patrick for today. Yeah, I see it here. It says uh, on ESPN, it says Chelsea reject West Ham Gallagher bid. I like Gallagher. If Gallagher is going to put in that performance like he did at Brighton, I like what I saw from Connor Gallagher against. I mean, at times, he's not a play, he's not a prolific playmaker. He is your hustle, he is your engine. He's trying to pro. He's trying to fill that gap by making the run, just running at the guy and creating that pressure on the ball. Would and you say throwing he himself in situations? And, you know, he's a little bit of. Say what? Would you say he's one of the ones that's, that still kind of has something to prove? Oh, yeah, most definitely. He plays like he does. Yes, 100%. And I think with him, if they can get the pairing to work because they're playing them off right now in the offseason, Pochettino is. But that can free up Enzo from that working role. Because we've seen Enzo create. We've seen it's Enzo both. be able to play in the space. And, and I, mean, I think, I, think a, that I, I liked what I saw from him. He can finish. He's always looking for a goal. Yeah. What did you think of Santos? I mean, yo, I mean, the hustle in defense, I think, again, like Jake just said, somebody with something to prove. Um, Santos is really fighting for a place to stay at stay, stay at the club, um, not get loaned out or not end up on B team or practice squad. Because look at the defender. Yeah, I mean, look at the defenders that are ahead of him right now. You got Reese James is starting. Chilwell starting. Well, Silva, 90% of the time, the will start. Yeah, but Santos Colwell is playing will start. more that that – I want to say more of an eight, maybe a six. I think it's an eight. Um, where I maybe don't know, six or six? Yeah, it's worth six. Um, where he is he locked he, down Matoma. Matoma's fast. Yeah. Like no, you're I'll thinking of Gusto. You're thinking of Gusto. I'm talking about Santos, who played in the, oh, in, oh. in the midfield. You're right. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're talking about yes. Well, I'm if sorry, you're still in for Caicedo, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If y'all are still in for Caicedo and, and get that over the line, I mean, um, Santos might find it even harder to get in that midfield. Well, the thing is, is he started every single um, preseason match so far, which I think says something about his ability and what Pochettino sees in him. Um, I do think that... Uh, Angelo Gabriel, I think that Gabriel Angelo or uh, Angelo Gabriel, I think he gets loaned out. He's played amazing on the wing, though. But I think Metaweke is still just a tad better, but there's a ton of potential. Or at least first Gabriel. choice. Huh? At least first choice, Metaweke. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Um, right. we got to have a talk, though, about uh, Battle Sterling. <laughs> He should be scared, man. If Mud Dog's gone. gonna put I in, want him gone. If Mud Dog's I want him in gone. like that, if Jackson's gonna put in performances like that, Incredible. Sterling might, might better look over that shoulder. I mean, well, I know not in Kunku, you can't sit. I want him gone. So I bad. mean, there's something in his contract where you know uh, Tuchel and Potter had to start him every game. He's playing X amount of minutes. I don't know what that was, uh, right. but. Uh, I feel like it might be time to, you know, give your highest paid man a, a bit of a warning here. Hey, guys, uh, 
we got these guys coming through. And just because, you know, you had that deal last last season, you know, it's time to work, man. I mean, right now, I see him more of a backup to Nkunku it's than a conversion star. for me, man. He gets so many. So who would start? Who would start right now? Like, if y'all had to, if y'all were playing the, who you start with this season? If you're Liverpool. first, if you're first game, if you're playing Liverpool tomorrow, who's the, who's the eleven? Who's the starting lineup so far? Um, From Cole what we Will, Silva, Nkunku, number nine, James, first. and Chilwell. Oh, you're gonna Just go to defense first. Okay. And then you go yep. then you go to um, yeah. Yeah. Enzo, probably Gallagher if he doesn't get sold. If he does get sold, then um I think Santos gets gets in. If we buy Kaiseido, yeah. of course he'll get in. Um but if we don't, I think you see Gallagher and Santos with Enzo. What about Chukwemeka? That's the thing. I, I think you got to find a way to play him. Yeah. Are y'all going to do the inverted thing like everyone else? I think else? he'll come in yeah, with a sub, but I don't like think he'll start Is that James going to be doing that? Well, it's interesting what we've been doing. I don't know if you've been able to watch us. Um, we have been playing the 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 um, outside back inside and bringing the wing to the outside, and it, it's created a good bit of space. Um, one, it's helped Mudrick completely because it's given him space to actually play. Yeah. Um, well, that I was one of the issue run. with, right. with right. Mount last season is Mount and Mud Dog were always on top of each other and they couldn't yeah. ever figure out the space. Yeah, most definitely. Well, that's possible. Um, but to continue, I would go Metaweke, Nkunku, Jackson, and Mud Dog. Yeah. What about. Uh, what about the keeper yeah, situation? Are y'all are y'all bringing in somebody else? Or are I you, think we're going is to on the radar. Is that even on the radar for Poch? Uh, AC AC Milan's uh, <clears throat> keeper keeps being mentioned. What's his name? McNana. McNana, I think. Oh yeah, okay. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. He keeps being mentioned. I'm not so sure that we'll be able to pull him away, but who knows? It's silly season. I mean, we're we're going to go with we got billion Kepa, dollar Kepa offers now, so season. you know <laughs> who knows. Well, uh, you know, Keppa Keppa gets this are true, season. You're buying Mbappe, so you're just sticking with Keppa. Yeah, yeah. No, I think um, I think that we buy. I think that we are actually maybe See, moving oh. away. I say to deal. Really, I think so. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with, yep. with Kudis uh, um, from Ajax. Yeah, yeah. To to change to change one thing about I would change one thing about the midfield and in Patrick's lineup. I would like to see Cassidy <coughs> play or Cassidy play. Oh, uh, oh yeah. for Cassidy, Cassidy, or Cassidy. I would, like yeah. Enzo, I would like to see Enzo. Yep, I would like to see Enzo. Cassidy and Gallagher play the midfield. I love the defense exactly. It's Chilwell, Silva, Colwell, uh, James all day, every day. Cucurella only comes in if if Chilwell, you know, has a horrific injury again. I, I hate the way Cucurella <clears throat> played. I get the backup situation. He's a great backup. That's that's exactly what he is. Overpaid backup. It's what he needs well, it's to gonna be interesting to see what we do there. Um, because and then the, the, the starting, the starting, the starting offense, the starting offense, the starting. Sorry, the starting offense is exactly the same. It is. Yeah. It's it's Mudrick, Nkunku, Jackson, all day. Yep. <clears throat> well, it's it's up. interesting what's gonna happen with. Sorry, what were you saying? Cucurella and Hall. So. <clears throat> I don't understand why we're selling Hall, but from everything that I've read so far in the last couple of days, he wants to play as a midfielder. He does not want to be an outside back. Um, and Newcastle wants to buy him, um, which I kind of don't like. I wish that they would just take him on loan because um, I think he's got a ton of potential. Um, but Chelsea's going to have to figure out what they're going to do with Ian Mattinson too because – He's he's a left back, but they've been playing him more centrally, anyways. Um, but he was 
He was fantastic on loan last year. Um, he played for Burnley last year. So, well, who would you prefer of the three? Uh, Paul Matson or Cuckoo to back up James? Yeah. Oh no, that's Gusto. Gusto's got James. We're talking about Chilwell. Okay. I would go. Yeah. Probably go Madison. Um, I love Hall. I think Hall. I mean, the, his versatility is is fantastic because you're talking about somebody who can play outside back, who can play midfield, could play wing if needed, wing back. Um, but we're gonna go. It looks like more of a four three two one. Um, so not sure where he kind of fits in in that situation. Um, but uh, I think that that. You got to keep Matson. He's he's too good. Um, there are attempts to get Cuckoo over to Spain, specifically at Atletico, um, from what I've read. Is he so, on big wages too? Bring yeah, back Yao. No, he already signed for someone else. <clears throat> no, he didn't. Did he? John Felix yeah. is. Um, Did he? I thought so. Yeah. I thought he got a deal somewhere. Yeah. Well, um. I thought he got a deal for um, Barcelona, right? I'm not They're sure. They're trying to get him. Okay. Well, yeah. They're see, trying to get him. Barcelona put an article out like that out on everyone. Yeah. Did you? We saw. Barcelona we saw one today about Mbappe, right? Barcelona's <laughs> gonna sign me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Barcelona's in for him. Um, and Benfica's trying to re-sign him back um, this summer, according to this. So he may be going back. I mean, he may be going back to, to Portugal, which might not be the worst thing for him. He's he's lost yeah. something playing at Atletico. Yeah, I agree. Just overrated, uh, man. Man, I, 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 he's overrated. I really do miss uh, the Premier League. And again, it's only 19 days away, so that's fun. But uh, I do love trans the transfer madness. Yeah. I do okay. love. The, the craziness of the preseason yeah. and uh, the fact that people are getting offered a billion dollars out here. And, uh, yeah, so uh, – but all in all, I think Chelsea's preseason is going well. Uh, definitely going better than last preseason. And, uh, not in last year. Not hard to improve on last season. But, hey, things are looking <laughs> up. We lost to Charlotte last year, y'all. I mean, come on. <clears throat> I wasn't going to bring it up. Uh, but uh, I do think that – Y'all are going to be way better this season than you were last season. And uh, I agree completely. Yeah. Pochettino looks like he has a plan. We finally have a – it looks like it's we new, have right? a plan. That's and new. That's what, since Boyley's come in yeah. – right, since Boyley's come in, it has looked like it's just darts at a dartboard, just just chucking them, just whatever sticks. But – It finally looks like we have a little bit of a solidified plan. We have to give Bully credit. The guys that have truly been scouted – are fantastic. The ones you actually took time on, yeah. Yeah, are fantastic. There you go. There you and, go. And you know, it it gives you hope for the long term that okay, there is actually some development here going yeah. on. Good deal. Yeah. So every everyone's been hating on Lamb. Everyone was hating on Lampard last season. His latest press conference when he did like a little tell all. I, I loved every minute of it. It was just him trying to say, hey, we were doing the best we could, getting the club over the hill. And, you know, for, for a club legend to come out and say, look, man, yeah, the new owners, they're quirky, they have their issues, but they really do have the best interests at heart. They're trying to preserve this Chelsea legacy. They're trying to win titles. They're trying to pour money into the right places. Um, I love Frankie. I know he loves our club. I don't think he'd have any reason to lie about it. John Terry came back in for the academy. You know, we're starting to see things kind of correct themselves and getting our culture back to us. So, yeah, it's been a really nice preseason. I think we're right. I think we're back on track. We're not back, but we're back on track. The uh, I, I will also say this. I was thinking about it today because I got a lot of time to think. Um, I think that we're making all these young moves so that when it comes time to re redo the bridge because they they've just got the land to do it okay we got young guys 1.2 acres are yeah. growing into the into the club 
and they're highly talented individuals. Um, you know, I, I was I was reading a message board today, and we're we're um we're gonna sign Wahi, I think his name is, or Wahi, um, and then we're gonna loan him right back out. And people are like, oh, there goes Chelsea doing the loan thing again. No, they're gonna do one year loan. He's gonna come back, and then he's gonna be given a chance to be in the first <laughs> team next year. Yeah, I mean, hey, it can happen. Um, that kind of thing can definitely happen. You know, look at Willie Saliba. Uh, you know, he was on loan. And then come back in last season had a uh, had an absolute banger of the season. Yeah.